Rub up your engines! Well, GM has just stopped the sales of Silverados and Sierras because the roofs split, right? These are new trucks. The roofs split. Talk about crappy quality control. There's old Mary Barr. Oh, GM, we're great. We're going to make it. Cars for everybody that are great. They can't even make roofs anymore. Listen to this. The problem related is the truck's roof panels, which can split open on the passenger side. Though the damage is typically hidden by the roof molding, it can cause corrosion, leaking, and a safety issue during a crash. And here's their fix. Talk about a half assed fix. Listen to this. Dealers will drill the ends of the cracks to stop the spread and MIG will the connection underside of the roof. Then the truck has to be repainted and clear coated. A completely cheap fix. Well, they're cracking, so where the cracks are, we'll drill holes at the end, right? And then we'll weld it up. Talk about poor quality control, poor construction. And then it's a fix. Like Red Green, the Canadian comic, right? He would have used duct tape. He would just say, we'll put some duct tape over it, and that'll fix the whole thing, right? <laughs> But it is, we'll drill a couple of holes and we'll re-weld them and paint them over. If you see what the price of some of these Sierras and Silverados are, 60, 70 grand, right? And they can't even build a roof? Hey, you know what I say? Don't waste your money. Don't buy one in the first place. Well, they tell you electric cars are going to save the planet. Check this out. This is a diesel-powered rescue vehicle. <laughs> it's in England. When the electric cars run out of electricity, the van can come. It's a diesel van. It has a diesel generator that can generate electricity to partially recharge the electric car so you can drive it to the near charging station and charge it up. The hypocrisy is rampant. If you remember when I talked about earlier, Tesla's got one in California and they've got a supercharging station with all these chargers, right? But when they're all busy, there's not enough electricity in the area to run the chargers. So they got a big diesel generator hidden in the back that it turns itself on blah, 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 and it's running a diesel motor that generates electricity that then charges the electric cars. So, showing the hypocrisy of Save the Planet, look behind the drapes. Just like in The Wizard of Oz said, don't look behind the drapes. You open the drape and there's the wizard pulling all the strings and making all the sound going. Well, in this case, it is a diesel-powered generated truck van that comes and rescues the electric cars. Not only is there the inconvenience involved with the people out of electricity, but it just shows the farce that these things are supposed to be clean. They Aren't. Well, if you get mad at insurance companies like me, well, there's a guy who's in the same position. Christopher says, you were right, Scotty. I had a car and I should have got it appraised, but I didn't. A drunk lady was driving, swiped my truck and wiped it out. Even though I have a Toyota F100, one of the best trucks ever made, they only gave me $5,000 for it. I'm even using your video to argue against her insurance company in litigation. My truck is rust free, has a fresh coat of paint. Standard Fire Insurance Company in Massachusetts are full of scumbags. Well, most of them are, you know. The whole thing is they want to take as much money in as possible and pay out as little as possible, right? I swear, so many of these companies like State Farm, I swear, they're spending more money advertising than they are paying people's claims. Every time you look around, there's Patrick Mahomes and all that BS about how great State Farm is. Yeah, he's getting paid millions, right, for just opening his mouth, and yet you want a fair deal for your Toyota to call him a beautiful truck, and all they're giving you is five grand because they can get away with whatever they want. Now, good luck with your litigation. The problem there is who's going to be the litigator? You know, usually they're on the insurance company side. A lot of the insurance companies, they get to pick the litigator, so Good luck with it, and hey, it's not like you got the only insurance company you're dealing with that are scumbags, because most of them are. There's a new Cybertruck. It's supposed to be coming up. Guess what it costs to replace a windshield, right? 
Well, the windshield alone is 1,900 smackers, and it has, of course, reprogrammed because you got all the sensors and stuff in it. So I'm guessing probably north of three grand to replace the windshield. It's got that gigantic windshield. Heck, with that giant windshield, even the windshield blade costs 75 bucks. Not the whole thing. If you want the arm with the blade on it, that's 165 bucks. And the Goodyear Wrangler tires are 470 bucks a piece, and you're going to get hit with a pretty hefty installation fee because of those weirdo Tesla setups where the tires are kind of a pain in the butt to change out. Most charge a fortune if they'll even do it. A lot of them won't touch it. Before you buy something like that, ask around your local tire stores. Will you change tires on these? How much does it cost? La la la. Because I've seen people have to drive hundreds of miles to have Tesla tires changed because nobody wanted to touch them in their area. So, Look into all this stuff before you buy one of these things. Well, GM is laying up 900 of its cruise workforce, which is 24% of the employees. It's going down. These people that think they're going to have robo taxis driving us all around. All right, it's turning out to be as far fetched as Elon Musk and his boring company that was boring holes. And the only thing they built is like two miles or something under convention centers in Las Vegas, right? I mean, just gigantic scams. And the cruise has proven to be just that. They're spending billions on this stuff. Why? We have taxis. We have Ubers. We have millions of people that make a living driving those things. Why should we get rid of them to replace them with robo-taxis where then the corporations can control it all, not have to pay workers? Hey, come on now. People need jobs. And I got to say, when I go to a city, right? I'll fly, and then if I'm downtown or something, I won't even rent a car. I'll use Uber, Lyft, whatever, right? And I like talking to the drivers and say, what's a good place to eat? Where can you go out to have a nice drink? You know, you learn things. You interact with people. Our society, people have already insulated enough with their phones, looking at them all the time, not having eye contact with people that just what we really need are robo-taxis. We are not dealing with people even still. Hey, I'm glad they're failing. And I hope all of those robo-taxi companies go right down the toilet, throw their investment money away, because not only is it a stupid idea, it's actually counterproductive for society to insulate people even further than they're already insulated the way it stands today. Well, there's two new cars that got a zero safety rating. And this is one of the reasons they're not selling those cars here now in the United States and probably never will be. One was a Chinese MG5, you know, China bought the MG name from English, Morris Garages. They tried to make sports cars, they failed. Now they make SUVs. Well, MG5 failed with the zero safety rating. And an Indian company, Mahindra, the Mahindra Scorpio also got a zero rating. Now these aren't little cars, you can see. It's an SUV, right? Now, this testing was done by the Australia Asian testing setup because they don't sell them here in the United States. They're not going to crash test something they don't sell here, right? And they gave them both a zero rating for safety. Some of these, listen to this. They lack seat belt pretensioners and a center airbag to keep occupants from smashing into each other. Protection of the driver's lower legs was poor. The Mahindra one, the Indian one, it only has a lap belt for the center second row passenger. Not even a full thing, just a lap belt like they started putting in cars in the 60s. They've gone a long way in safety. Well, they went backwards with that thing. So, <laughs> now you know one of the reasons you can't buy these Indian Mahindra cars in the United States or the Chinese-made MG SUV. They would fail American crash tests and they wouldn't be allowed to be sold there. Well, you take away people's free parking and they're going to get mad. In the Los Angeles Arts District, they had a bunch of free parking. So you go to the museum and stuff, right? And they're getting rid of them. And I guess they're putting these kiosk things. Well, people came and vandalized the kiosk because they're mad that they no longer have free parking where it used to be free. Now, uh, of course, La La Land is in California. They want to tax everything, right? So basically, this is another tax. They said that they're getting rid of the free ones and putting in paid parking because that makes it better for people to park. Yeah, that's a tax. They're getting money, right, that they weren't getting before. It is not better. It's just an excuse for them to make more money, to charge people to park where it used to be free. If you've ever seen the Paul Newman movie, Cool Hand Luke, well, he got a pipe cutter and he cut the heads off the parking meters. 
in their little town, right? Because he thought it was disgusting. They were charging people to park because that was in the 19, early 60s, right? And back in the 50s, parking was free. Now they're trying to charge people. People feel they should have some kind of right to park free and not to pay every time they move around, right? Even in LA, people are revolting against it. I'm surprised it was free for all that length of time, though, seeing how they tax everything in California. I wouldn't be surprised if one day you go to California and you got to pay a tax on how much air you breathe. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.